to the show with everything you could ever want to make and do. Right, right to, to your, your fingertips. fingertips. I'm Fern. I'm Stephen. And here's what's coming up on today's show. Find out if Stephen sticks to a minute in today's One Minute Make. Get knotted with the coolest bracelets and belts around. And find out how to make your mates monster master surgeons at your own House of Horror party. And for all the details on today's makes, you can look at our website address at the end of the show or grab a pen and paper and jot it down straight away. Do your socks sit in your sports bag between sweaty outings to the sports field? Do you find it hard to lay your fingertips on a matching pair at the last minute? Do you rediscover socks looking like this from underneath your bed? If so, then you need some fingertips assistance in the form of... The Athlete's Foot Locker, the ideal place to store and keep your fresh sports socks. Simply unlock and unhinge the door and inside you're sure to find a pair of fresh socks all ready for some fresh sporting action. It's great, isn't it? Now, not only does the Athlete's Foot Locker look realistic, it's actually really easy to make. As long as you can get your hands on a couple of boxes like this, with a built-in hinge. Now, for the main body of the athlete's foot locker, you want to stick the two boxes together like this, and now you'll have two built-in compartments. There and there. Now, to make your box stronger and to give it that nice shiny metallic look, get some silver card and draw around all of the sides, not forgetting a piece of card for the top of your box. Now, you could just paint it silver. That would work just as well. Cut out all your sides and then stick them onto your box. And it's a good idea to paint the inside of your box like we've done with ours. And now it's time to make the locker look more realistic. And there's a couple of ways of doing it. Look, with felt tip, you can add some screws. And then a hand width from the bottom, you want to add one of these hinges that you can get from your local DIY store and they hardly cost anything. And the way to connect them is line the hinge up on the hinge side of your box and then with a pencil make four holes like we've done here and then get some of these paper fasteners and all you do is line up your hinge and pop one of the paper fasteners through like this and then if I open up the box and open up the paper fastener the hinge is nice and secure and make sure you do this with the other three holes too. Now, once your hinges are all in place, it's time to make the handle and locking device for your athlete's foot locker. First of all, cut out a 10 centimetre ruler width piece of card and then cut out a small section from the middle. Now, this is going to be your handle. So bend up the edges here and here and then give it a nice little curve like that and then stick it to the door on the front, flush up against the side, again, giving it a nice little curve like that. Then this section is going to be your locking device. So place it over the front of your handle and then bend it around the edge and stick it down in place. And for added strength, why don't you add more paper fasteners like we've done here? Also, these look like screws, which is good. And for extra security to deter any sock thieves, why don't you buy yourself one of these mini padlocks? Just make sure you don't lose the key. And how about adding an authentic looking ventilation grate? All we've done is got a piece of card, cut slits out of it and then fan them upwards and again added some little screws using some pen. And don't forget to check out the Fingertips website for all the details on how to make the Fingertips Athletes Foot Locker. We'll give you the address at the end of the show. Now, you could make a smaller version just using one box like we've got here. And even try different coloured versions. And what about this? If you stick up pictures of your friends and personal bits and pieces on the inside of the door, it looks like an American school locker. They really are handy. So suck it to them with a bit of fingertips foot knowledge. Just wash your socks after soccer and store them in the athlete's foot locker. Nicely done. Got a minute? Because this is the part of the programme where we show you how to make something you should be able to make in under a minute using odds and ends from around your house. Today it is my turn to make. And it's my turn to tie. And I don't need much stuff because this, have a look, that's just it, that. that's it. Well, we're not going to tell you what it is just yet. See if you can guess along the way. Steve, you ready? I better get my skates on. Is that a clue? It is. <laughs> Come Good. on. OK, three, a two, a one and go. Right, first thing I need to do is get this cup and carefully just cut around the top like that. Don't Nicely need that. Done. Also, uh, well, OK, now I need to... Uh, Seven seconds gone, Stephen. Okay, to make it. Yeah, pressure there. 
a nice shape at the top of this piece of card like you this. You make him doing it in a casual manner, considering yeah. you've used 15 seconds already. OK. OK, so how long have I got? Um, what do I need to do? Oh, yeah. yeah. He's Put fatty. this on here. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Put this on there. How long? 23 seconds gone. 23 He's seconds. panicking, I can tell. See, I'm panicking because... He's going to make him do stunts, ready for action. I want to make this a world record for a one minute make. Mm, but that's like. going to Stop! <gasps> 34! Oh, Not bad at all. It isn't bad, is it? What's that? Well, all I need to do is make a bend at the top, give it a bit of shape, and now... <gasps> ah, you see? Ah, nice skateboard, Stevie. I see it. And let me just show you this. Look, if I get these sticky tape rolls, put one there and one on this side as well, you will now see this is the Fingertips Sticky Tape Dispenser. It's a skate truck that dispenses your sticky tape. And look, these sticky tape rolls really do look like little wheels, don't they? Now, although they take less than a minute to make, you do need to decorate them, and you can do that however you like. Maybe covering or painting your truck silver, adding bolts in felt tip pen, or painting the boards. But what about this? You could even have your own Fingertips version. Just go to our website, address at the end of today's show, and you can actually Download the Fingertips logo, just print it off, cut it out and stick it on. The Fingertips Sticky Tape Skate. They're really handy to have on your desktop. This is Little Fingertips, the past the programme where we tell you and your friends to get knotted with the Fingertips Knotted Band. With a bit of ribbon or leather and some nifty knotting you can make any of these. There are some cool masculine leather ones and some pretty ribbon ones made in exactly the same way. They're really easy to make and they look wicked. Now to make the leather version you just need a leather lace, some modelling clay and a pencil. First up take your modelling clay, squish it down and pop your pencil straight into the top, pointy sides down. Then get your leather lace and fold it in half and then tie it onto your pencil at this halfway point. Just tie it in an ordinary knot, make sure it's quite nice and tight as well so it stays in place and then tie another knot in exactly the same way and pull it right down to the pencil and keep going over and over with this technique until you've knotted a long enough length to wrap around your wrist. Then, once you're happy with it, take it off the pencil and tie it on your arm. Now, this can be quite tricky to do yourself. You may want to get a friend to help you. Stephen? Right, this will have to do. Tie it onto somebody's wrist and use that loop which the pencil has left to tie it on. Just one more knot. There we go. And then get some scissors and cut off the excess. And this one is made in exactly the same way. Apart from we've used coloured thread instead of leather lace. Keep tying until you're happy with the length and there you have it. And there are all different kinds of designs that you can make. But you haven't got to stop at just making wristbands. Check out this cool belt we've made, made in exactly the same way using fake leather strips and some curtain hoops tied after every few knots. We've also added some tassels at the end there, so it looks just like the ones you get in the shops, apart from they're a lot cheaper. So tell your friends to get knotted with the Fingertips Cool Knotted Bracelets. Meet Freaky Frank, the surgically pieced together monster who takes pride of place in... The Fingertips House of Horror Party. <laughs> We've come up with a gruesome party full of great ideas for food, a monster game and great decorations. Decorate your room with lab equipment like this giant rack of test tubes. These are just upturned drinks bottles filled with different coloured drinks. And the cool thing is, you can drink straight from the bottle using straws. And check out the gothic window arches, backed with coloured acetate and painted with creepy gnarled trees. And cobwebs are a must. These are made with PVA glue, string and a touch of glitter. And finally, cardboard bats flapping round your room. Dress in a black cape, either made from a bin liner or a piece of black material. Wear a long black wig, pale face makeup and long red nails. Or go monster mad with scars, stitches and bolts. You could even make a brain teaser just using a colander and spring-cooled pipe cleaners. Serve up Monster Mash with sausage fingers. Now these are made with red pepper nails, so you can dip them into your mash and 
plenty of blood red tomato sauce. And wash it all down with a blood orange cocktail, complete with eyeballs. These are made from a light cheese with black grapes in the middle. Ugh. And to finish it off, how about a fruit jelly bowl, complete with strawberry lace entrails. But what is the main game in the fingertips house of horror party? Well, it's pin the limb. To play the game, blindfold your guests and hand over a severed limb. The idea is to reassemble the monster in the correct order. Not so easy when you're blindfolded. Everyone can become a master monster surgeon in this game and win a prize if they arrange their limbs in roughly the right place. Now, to make the game, you want to stick two sheets of lining paper together so it's big enough and wide enough for a friend Fun to lie on. Go on. That's it. And you want to make sure that their legs are wide apart, also their arms are away from their body, and their fingertips are nice and spread out. Then, just draw around the outline of their body like this. You've now got the outline for your monster's shape. Now, make sure you draw around the outside line so your monster is nice and big. Draw a square head, not forgetting the neck bolts either side. Add big raised shoulders and details like raggedy cuffs and make the hands nice and large. Add chunky turnips and clumpy feet. Then cut around your monster, cutting out each limb separately. Then use these paper limbs as templates so you can now make some cardboard versions. So. Draw around your paper limbs on some card, like that, and then you can add all the extra details, like his torn clothes and also his fingernails as well. Add these on. And also his fingers. There we go. And a couple of more details just here. And then when you're happy with all of that, you want to cut this out and then you're ready to paint it any colour. And we've gone for purple clothes and green skin. But you could also go for these guys. This guy is called Orobalari. And check out his purple skin and tufty hair. And what about Gruesome Gary with his evil sneer? But if you want to go for the Freaky Frank look, then go to the Fingertips website address at the end of the show. We've got Freaky Frank on there for you to print off and copy. Now, put a few bits of sticky tack on the back of each limb and you're ready to stick him onto a door or a wall. OK, let's play this game. Now, let me blindfold you. You can't see, can you? Uh, no, I can't. OK, are you ready to play? I am very ready. Right, just lead you over here. OK. Right, give us your hand. Yep. Pick a limb. Got one, yep. And the board is just to your left. OK, thank you, Stevie. Now, whoever manages to put Freaky Frank back together gets one of these. This is a brain box and it's full of all gruesome goodies. Look, jelly snakes, also sweet skulls and strawberry lace entrails. Right, it's time to see how Fern's done. <gasps> Not bad. <laughs> Not bad, you won't be winning a brain box. Mm. <laughs> but maybe you will if you play Pin the Limb at your very own House of Horrors party. And the good news is Freaky Frank here is only made of cardboard. So unlike Dr Frankenstein's monster, he won't be coming to life. <laughs> well, that's it for today's show. But if you want to make anything from the programme, then check out the Fingertips website. The address is right here. And we'll see you very soon for some more Fingertips. Fingertips. Bye!